Okay, now well, let's go to our Koma and Nine Hands. Koma is the shaman queen who founded the second confederacy of nine states. This is what I wrote. It's in the chapter 13 of the book, uh, Goddesses and Myth, History and Culture, that I really discussed in detail out there. Koma, actually in Korea, Koma is better known as Ungnyo. See, everybody knows Ungnyo in Korea, but they may be, what, what is Koma? What is Koma? But um, Ungnyo is a Idu script. You know Idu? Idu? Idu script of Koma. This year's Mago pilgrimage, we went to uh, Gongju. Kirsten and I went to Gongju and we visited Koma Naru in Gongju. Kam, Kom, Kom, Kum. All place names, all titles, all names, they all uh, are derived from this Koma. Koma is also a word that reverses Mago, right? It's very interesting. And Koma is also in a Chinese text. Koma is known as Dark Lady of Nine Heavens. Uh, we say Kuchon Hyonyo. And very interestingly, you, do you know uh, Huangjie or Huangdi in Chinese? Huangdi is uh, one of the three uh, emperors in China, ancient myth, legend. That this, uh, in, in, in Chinese myth, it is said that Kuchen Hyonyo was the teacher of Huangjie. You see this one? So, whether this Kuchon Hyonyo is the same as Koma or her successor, Koma's successor was referred to uh, Kuchon Hyonyo. And it is, that's how uh, 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 people in China, in a, in, a, in a certain region, I guess, um, knows about Koma. It's Kuchon Hyonyo. You see, Kuchon Hyonyo means uh, the dark lady. It is Hyun is the uh, character that actually refers to. It's not really dark, or it's more like a, a arcane. You know, it's really arcane and mysteriously divine. It's 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 really that that's the meaning anyhow. But uh, Koma is the um, uh, sort of she established. She renews the Mago land or the. It's the Mago. You know, Koreans, in ancient Koreans, believe that there is only one country, which is the land of Mago. We, uh, we, our ancestors, Korean, I am a Korean, see, our ancestors thought that uh, uh, we human beings don't uh, found a dynasty or state because we have only one country for all peoples. That is a Mago, the land of Mago. So anyhow, this Koma sort of established her political system. It's confederacy. You know what confederacy is? United, you, we can see United States. United States is a conf sort of confederacy of, uh, what, 51 states. Hmm? And the Washington state is the, what, federal state, like Koma, Koma, founded the nine state confederacy. And one of the nine states is the uh, sort of federal, that it's like mother, it's, it's a mother state, whereas eight daughters. So do you see this pattern? In these nine states, one state plays the role of mother who embraces the other eight states. Uh, Koma's nine state confederacy is called we know. If I say this one, everybody knows. Kuhan. See? We are known as Kuhan. Kui. You know, right? Chinese called our ancestors Kui. Nine, actually, uh, nine uh, great archers, actually. And Kuryo. Kuryo is known especially uh, at the time of Chiu. This is one thing we also need to pay attention is 
we don't apply the terms that is applied for kings and the ruling. So they are not really rulers, rulers. They are like a, they are like um, administering. They facilitate. They take care of this eight substates. That's what it means. Okay. And uh, we know this uh, in Goma symbols, Shindansu. You know Shindansu, the tree, Shin, divine, and Tan. Tan also refers to. Um, and interestingly, I'm going to show you later, Shindansu is known as, well, exactly, not exactly known, but if you see another symbol, a, a world tree or tree of life in uh, Finland. So it's uh, this divine tree uh, is called in that uh, section, uh, in North uh, mythology, it is called the uh, Yggdrasil, right? Yggdrasil. And this is the tree that has nine words. I will show you the image of this one. Nine words in North mythology. And we have this term kurang. Rang, rang in Korean. Rang refers to, uh, I think, more like uh, women. But later it refers to men, like in Hwarang, right? Rang, that rang. So nine Goddess, I would say goddess, or nine magos, that's how I translate it. And kuson, you know, nine shinsons, nine shinsons. And an image, okay, I'm going to just read it through, and then you will see the images after this. Nine-tailed fox, kumiho. Hmm? And another one is uh, nine-headed phoenix. Phoenix, it's a kupong, it's a kupong huang. Maybe we have to say kupong huang. You will see uh, nine Headed, nine heads of this bird. And a uh, village of nine guests, uh, nine generals of the Mago clan, Kubin Maul, uh, Mago Jonghe, Abchangs, nine generals of the Mago clan. That, that's the uh, folk tale that uh, we have in Korea. Okay, here's the nine states. And this each state also comprises another uh, small community of nine. So if you put all together nine times nine, it, which makes 81, right? So 81, number 81 is also a representative uh, of nine, nine numerology. 81 is also nine, number nine. And nine dragons we call kuryong, kuryong. Uh, nine states, kuju, well, Japan has this state called Kyushu, all right? This is nine states. A uh, peak of nine wells we visit Kujongbong in Yongam. And uh, in Samgung Yusa, that uh, Empress uh, Sondo is told to have built nine story pagoda. It has a little, uh, a little um, elaborated uh, story there. So if you are interested, you can get into that story. And a uh, story of Mago and her eight daughters. So, you know, these are like folk tales. If you go to Mount Chiri and there's a story that Mago Harmi lived here and she had eight daughters and she sent uh, all seven daughters to different parts of the uh, 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 Korea. And then she lived with the youngest and these are uh, all eight, her all eight daughters became the progenitor of uh, shamans. You know, this is the kind of story that is uh, uh, widely uh, told throughout the southern part of uh, Korean Peninsula. Now we have, um, we have eight sonyos, pal sonyo. This is a huge, huge, everybody knows about eight sonyo, pal sonyos. And we have also eight shinsons. This is from Taoism. Taoism also have eight shinsons. So I'm going to just skip. I'm not going to get into and nine nipples of Korean temple bells and Jew bells. You know, if we get into Korean temple bells, you see nine symbols there. Tao Re Jing or Do Dok Gyeong has 81 chapters. Do Dok, Do Dok Gyeong has 81 chapters. And scripture, finally, scripture of heavenly emblem, which is Chon, Chonbukyong. You see it there? Hmm? Over there, Chonbukyong has, what, 81 characters, right? Nine and nine. That makes, okay. So now I'm going to show you some images. The first image you see at the top is uh, nine dragons. You know, the, these uh, wall, uh, mural or wall painting or wall uh, relief is located in Beijing, China today. And it symbolizes the uh, 
the um, the authority or the power of the ruler. And this is in this case really ruler Chinese uh, have developed the system a monarchy. The king rules over the rest uh, people or states. The one that is below down there, can you see these nine heads, right, of the phoenix, nine-headed phoenix? And then the, the one that next to it is, you know, everybody knows, right? What is that? Kumiho. It's Kumiho, right? And so, um, so Koma's state is represented as Kumiho. She's the, the nine state, she's the uh, mother uh, state of the, she takes care of all eight, uh, protects the eight states. 